Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. Remember, if you like what you see here, uh, hit that like button, uh, share it if you think it'll help somebody else, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, go ahead and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload new videos. Uh, but today we went to the uh, Goodwill, uh, our local Goodwill, the one that we tend to go to, and we decided we were going to scan some books. Uh, every Monday they bring out fresh books and uh, they put them in a giant bin. Uh, you'll see the bin in the video. Uh, and we scan them. And usually if we get there early enough, we're first in line and you generally get some pretty good deals. Uh, so that's what we did today. Uh, you'll see in the video that there was a lady looking for some cookbooks and I shared those with her and let her have them if she wanted them. Uh, and we had a good conversation. Uh, other than that, uh, enjoy the video. And uh, at the end of the video, I will show you what we came out with. All right, so here's our haul. Uh, some of this stuff over here isn't from today, but uh, you can see we got some books. 
I got five copies of this one. I like you, I love you. Uh, only a couple dollar profit on that particular book, but five copies of it. Uh, we'll take it. They're all in very good condition, so that's not bad. Uh, this one is The Janitor. A couple dollar profit on that one. A Rule Against Murder. This one actually had a really good uh, profit. Uh, it's bold script alphabets. It's just fonts. A whole book of fonts. Had a really good profit, though. Uh, Shabby Cheek Inspirations by Rachel Ashwell. Not a bad book. Always have to get a nice Bible. This one was unused. Uh, very nice Bible. This one is God's Financial Plan, Tithing. Good profit on that one. Let me get this shadow out of here. Uh, the 1% Solution for Work and Life. How to make your next 30 days the best ever. Uh, this Dark Shadow stuff had some really good uh, value. There was a bunch of them in there. I didn't scan them all, I just picked them all up because every Dark Shadows one I scanned was good. Here's a nice one, uh, The Civil War in 500 Photographs. If it wasn't uh, a good book, I would have probably kept it. EastEnders, there was a lot of EastEnders stuff in there, but this is the only one that uh, did well. It was a BBC t TV show, like a soap opera. Uh, this one is Althrop, The Story of English and English House. Good book. Another Bible. Uh, this one got a little bit of condition issues, but still had a good resale value. Mrs. Lincoln's Dressmaker. Uh, this is former library. Former library books still sell. Uh, here's the rest of those Dark Shadows books. I haven't gone through these to look see what they're worth. But there's three more Dark Shadows. I'll put these over here for a second. Oh, going to lose them. Okay, all of those right there are yearbooks. They're all from Riverside High School in Painesville, Ohio. Those were all there, too. Uh, yearbooks tend to get anywhere from $25 to $35, depending. There's a famous, there was an NFL player in one of these, but he wasn't super famous, so I don't know if that adds any more value. Now, that was the books. Here's what we found other than books at the Goodwill today. Always look for that brand, Cutco. This is a small knife block, but I think it's still like $20, $25. And I think we paid a, a dollar for it, $2 for it. This is interesting. This is a Care Bears horse. Not Care Bears. Yeah, actually, Cabbage Patch Kids horse. Uh, it says 1984 on it. Should be about a $25 horse. Really good condition. We paid $2.99, so not bad. We got two pair of Danner boots. Uh, they need a little bit of cleaning, but it uh, should be $50 or $60 a pair on these. You can see they say Danner right there on the side. They're a little dirty underneath. They do need some cleaning, but we'll get that done. And finally is this Bosch uh, Tosimo. I guess that's how you say that. Uh, we'll probably end up parting this out, all these little parts. Uh, the water thing on the back, everything does really well. Um, as a unit, it's probably $50, but if you part it out, it's probably a little bit more. We paid $4.99 for it. Would have had some more video today, but my batteries died. You can see I just got my three new GoPro batteries in the mail today. I also got my chest mount, so the videos will be a little bit better from now on. Shouldn't be as shaky or noisy. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, remember to hit that like button. Share it if it'll help somebody else and uh, make sure to hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching.